Hello friends, this is Durga again and as part of this video, I will be showing how to create a Oracle 12C database using Oracle Cloud. It will be very simple, um, very few clicks which you need to uh, use and it will take time to build the database for you. Probably once you uh, click on the confirm button, it might take uh, 20 minutes to half an hour, but it's very straightforward compared to the uh, conventional approach where it used to take few days. Uh, to just set up the database here you will be provisioning the server and uh, it will have the database and um, everything will be uh, as per the oracle defined standards so there will be very lesser room uh, for error so uh, there are uh, different uh, services um, uh, which will show up on the dashboard once you click on um, uh, try it as part of platform as a service uh, one of them is java cloud service sova cloud service storage cloud service database backup service and database cloud service so you can choose whatever you want so let's uh, go with uh, uh, oracle database cloud as a service so instead of using uh, and the newly created account i will be using the old account uh, and uh, i will show you how to create it so i'm going to the confirmation email which i have got for my another account and uh, the identity do domain is usag soft and the one which i have used for sign up it's us it was it but this one is different so let me click on this and uh, you can see that the domain is what we have used to create the account. So for example, if you go to my Safari where I have uh, which one, uh, 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 which I have used to sign up for the new account to demonstrate how to sign up. Here, uh, uh, it is actually in a different uh, uh, identity domain. So you can see the all the identity domains by clicking on this you can see that it is a USIT was it so if you have whatever domain you want to create the database instance or any any service you have to make sure that you are signing into that domain so in this case i will be using usag soft and if you create database in this domain and if you have multiple domains and if you try to search for that in the other domain you will not be able to see it so make sure that you are uh, signing into the correct, uh, correct uh, uh, identity, identity domain. Click on sign in. Okay, so it will look like this. And uh, it's the same as the, uh, the other uh, uh, account. Uh, so this one is the new account d.gadiraj.gmail.com and this one is the existing one d.gadiraj.gmail.com so let me close this safari and now let me show you here so to create a new database cloud service once um, it is approved uh, once it changes from the initialized state then you have to click on the service console the beauty of using Oracle Cloud is it does not ask you for the credit card information. Once you got the account, you will have 30 days to explore. I'm not sure about the limits, um, but um, I think limits are pretty high. You can actually explore quite a bit uh, use, within these 30 days. It will not ask you for any um, uh, credit card information until you are done with the trial service. You can see that my subscription will be expired on 11th December 2015. I have just started this uh, uh, subscription uh, so so uh, whatever service you want to create you have to click on the service console for that service in this case oracle database cloud service is the one which i want to use to create a oracle 12c database so i'm clicking on the service console for that one okay so you have uh, this so click on create service and we want to create a, a database directly oracle database cloud service so there are two types of services cloud service and virtual emails uh, cloud service virtual emails 
So in this case, you will have a database software pre-installed on a vir uh, virtual machine, but there won't be databases for you. You have to create the databases. Whereas the first one, which is selected by default, it comes with uh, um, the software and also the uh, and database created for you. So that's the difference. So if you choose to go with virtual image, then you have to set up the database by using DBCA or manually. So I, I will be using the default one and I will be going with the monthly because you have 30 day trial period. It doesn't matter uh, uh, how much uh, uh, you use within this 30 days. But if you want to reduce the cost um, after the 30 days, uh, you can choose uh, hourly. But for this, you need to have additional service called uh, uh, storage service so that uh, whatever data you are trying to store um, or the database files or table spaces that are created um, uh, will be preserved in the storage container by taking regular backups so that you can restore. So that's the intention uh, of Hourly. You can actually terminate the instance when you don't want and you can recreate um, whenever you want, uh, but that requires storage container uh, in another service and you, it also provides 30 day trial period. If you want, you can explore it. But I will go with monthly, click on next. And here you have two different versions, Oracle Database 11G and Oracle 12C. I have already created Oracle 12C. You can, uh, but I will show you different options they provide. And then I will uh, create a Oracle 11G database also. So click on next. So there are three different options, Enterprise Edition, High Performance and Extreme Performance. I will be going with uh, Default Enterprise Edition. Click on Next. Here you have to give the service name. You can give any service name you want. You can give the description if you want. And then you can uh, uh, choose the configuration you want. So this one will give you one uh, CPU and 7.5 GB RAM. This one gives you two or CPU and 15 GB RAM. If you want the uh, uh, details and pricing after the trial period, you can go to the cloud.oracle.com and uh, click on products and services. In this case, uh, it's database. Let me. Once you click on this, you can see the pricing uh, link here. Click on this and you can see that uh, it will cost you $600 for standard edition and $3,000 for per month for enterprise edition. So whatever we are choosing here, after one month, if you want to use it, you have to pay $3,000 per month to Oracle. Okay. So, uh, but it, it does not ask you the credit card information. So you are good to go. But after 30 days, the instance will go away. And then you have to give the public key. So for this, you have to set up SSH. So the way you can actually set up SSH is already covered in my YouTube channel for both Windows as well as uh, um, Mac. You have to use SSH keygen. If you are using Windows, I will highly recommend you to set up Sigwin. So if you go to my videos, uh, there is a playlist for Microsoft Windows for IT professionals. In this, there is uh, there are a couple of videos which uh, let you to set up Sigwin and also set up SSH packages on Sigwin. Once you have these two, uh, so make sure you watch both the videos, set up SSH on your uh, um, Windows laptop, and then you can uh, run SSH minus keygen command to generate the private and public keys. And once you have private and public keys, uh, you can actually copy the public key. To here by clicking on edit. You can actually choose this one and directly copy the public key. So by default, it will be stored under id underscore rsa dot pub. You can take that and store it here. If you don't want to use Sigwin, then you have to use PuTTY uh, and uh, actually the uh, Oracle itself provide all the step-by-step -step instructions 
to use putty key gen to generate that public and private keys and you have to copy that public key uh, from putty key gen uh, to here but if you are using uh, uh, sigwin or uh, um, uh, linux Ma or mac terminal what you have to do is you just have to run this command ssh minus key gen and hit enter and then it will uh, ask you to the path uh, uh, to which you want to copy these files yeah so if this directory does not exist it will create it for you in the home directory and there will be a private file with name id underscore rsa and public file with uh, name id underscore rsa dot pub you can see this by running ls minus ltr whether it is sigwin or linux terminal or mac terminal it doesn't matter tilde represents the home directory slash dot ssh slash star or you can take this path directly and uh, you can do ls minus ltr enter and you can see idea underscore rsa dot pub and idea underscore rsa two files idea underscore rsa represents the private key which has to be there on your pc and idea underscore rsa dot pub have to be copied to the remote server to which you want to connect using passwordless login and when it comes to connect, uh, connecting the servers on which the Oracle database will be created, uh, you will be able to only connect using passwordless login. So you, when you, if you pass the content of this file by clicking browse, uh, uh, by clicking on browse like this, and uh, Okay, I cannot uh, uh, see the hidden files. That's fine. I will use the key value here and then copy the public key. Um, and uh, let me sh uh, enter. Okay, it will look like this. So you can copy and paste the content of the public uh, key file and uh, hit on enter. And what will happen is when the server is uh, created, it will have this key and uh, automatically copied onto the server and you have the private key on your pc so you will be able to connect to the server uh, uh, without password uh, authentication and then you have to give the administration password um, so you have to follow the standards you need to have at least one uppercase letter one uh, lowercase letter one uh, uh, number and uh, also one of the underscore or hyphen or hash only three uh, one of these three special characters are allowed in the password and you can create uh, the password and then when it comes to oracle 12c there is a concept of containers so that container uh, uh, so it, it it is supposed to be a multi-tenancy database so each container will uh, will be fully uh, uh, f uh, fully working uh, database uh, where you can actually copy from one database to uh, one database server to other database server without impacting any other thing so you can actually uh, so it's kind of uh, having uh, multiple databases on one set of uh, one or uh, one set of database servers if it is rack so it's like uh, mysql or uh, postgres where you can have multiple databases Traditionally, in Oracle, you can have only one database uh, for uh, one set of database servers. If it is Rack and if you have four servers um, installed to support that uh, Rack database, you can have only one database uh, on those four database servers. You cannot have more than one. Whereas when it comes to Oracle 12C, you can create as many database containers as you want and each one will work as a fully serviced um, database. So, and if you want to create a demos, uh, which will have uh, uh, some of the tables uh, pre-created uh, for uh, exploring the database from developer perspective, if you want that, you can choose this one and it will facilitate you to create certain schemas under this container. We will see the container and other details once the database is up and running. Then you can click on next. I have to give the password. And also here, uh, I, I will be using local storage only. If you want to use cloud storage, you need to have a uh, cloud storage container 
so you need to subscribe to container uh, storage container service also it will give you the username password and the container name and you have to use it but for this one i will just use local storage container and this one i will use the password whatever they they say hit here okay and click on next then once you create click on create it will take around 20 minutes to 30 minutes uh, to set up the database and uh, bring it up so hit on create and uh, now you can see that this it was t temp is in progress you can click on in progress to see what is going on once it is uh, done you will see something like that the status will not be shown but it will be shown as created on so this one is created on 2 a.m utc and this one is just kicked off okay it will take 20 minutes to 30 minutes so that's how you can actually create the database very easy it will just take 10 minutes to sign up and start creating the database and uh, uh, as part of the um, uh, series of videos we will see how we can connect to this uh, database server uh, uh, means OS of the database server so the OS will be Oracle Enterprise Linux um, and also we will see how we can use uh, how we can actually connect to the databases using IDEs like uh, SQL developer and many more um, as part of this playlist that being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you, uh, if you have any questions, please use the comment section of the video. Or if you want to provide the feedback, please provide the feedback on the comment section of the video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.